We are heading north of Madrid to a place called Segovia, which it transpires as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. So this is going to be super, super exciting. Whilst we're there, hopefully tomorrow, to collect our beautiful little Norwegian forest cat. Quite spectacular. Whoa, look at that. I'm very, very excited to see Segovia. going up into the old town and there's the ramparts. Oh my word. It's 9.30 now and the reason I'm not in the hotel is that there was a slight little issue with one of the rooms and um, they very kindly have sent us to their sister hotel uh, which means we have an upgrade from a three star to a five star. Uh, the downside is we have to kind of move all the luggage uh, and obviously grandma's pretty tired now so I volunteered to sort of go and get some of the remaining luggage. Um, but I will show you this hotel in a minute. Oh, sorry about the light, because it's um, it's really nice. It's like a, it's like it was a convent. Um, so, yeah, and hats off to the hotel. They really sorted it out. And by the way, look at the view over here. I couldn't quite believe it. This is an incredible town. I'm going to attempt to get up early in the morning before we pick up the kitten and um, see what I can show you. Oh. The temperature, by the way, is I think zero degrees Celsius. Um, so basically freezing point. And we were looking at the temperature of Barcelona, which is obviously, well, San Pedro de Ribas, which is tomorrow's drive. And I think it's between, well, the night time's five and the daytime's 16. So there is a massive difference in temperature between here. We must be high up. Um, but I think central Spain is either very, very hot in the summer or pretty cold in the winter, which is why I'm very pleased, much as I love Madrid, that we live where we do, because I think the climate suits me better. <laughs> but just around the corner now, I'm carrying bags, by the way, it's not just me, I'm not that unfit. Here's the hotel. So historic. It's called the Orea Convento. Capuchinos. Um, so obviously it was a convent. But look at this, I'll show you. Are the gates. Look at that! Isn't that cool? And I'll show you as I'm coming through. And here we are. Look at the windows, aren't they beautiful? But the best thing is that they have marshmallows, flumps. Something every hotel should have. It was a long, long journey, but it was worth it because now we've arrived we were in this fantastic place and you've got this really good combination, in my view, of old and new together in this interior design. And I love, in particular, this really old stone around the edge and then the steel, the hard straight lines of the steel and glass. Very beautiful. We're going to check out 
grandma and the girls' room. One of these. There oh, we hang go. On, hang on. Ooh, that's We're it. in. Oh my goodness. Oh, Let me just show everyone. So, hang on, hang on. Writing area, tea, coffee, station area. <laughs> they have got a rather nice room. And the, the brickwork in this wall is really pretty. It's got the little thin bricks and then the big mottled brick. Yes, I really would like to stay in this room next time. Right, we're going to go now. We're going to go and look at the cathedral at night. It's only up six minutes away, so... You know, I know cathedrals at night are beautiful, but, you know... Jenny, you'll be able to watch it on the vlog. It's fine. Oh, of course! Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's hard. it was hardly worth it coming on the trip. You can just watch the whole thing afterwards. Oh. Now we're going to show you our room. Whew. It's a little bit chilly. So in the summer, this will be 40 degrees. Me. My hair's gone very so badly wrong. 4.11. After you. It's a very cool building. So warm, actually. Oh, this room is very That's nice. Really nice. And we have chocolates under the pillow, so the eating nice. continues. Yeah. This way. Yeah, this is so magic, right? This is so... Atmospheric. Gosh. There's not a single soul around. I feel I've walked into a film set. I hear people. It's a pizzeria. Oh wow. Is it midnight or is it 11? 11 30. 11.30, okay. There's a bandstand. This was worth it. Well, wow, I put the camera up so everyone can see. That's spectacular. Yeah. Lovely. And that square really is quite amazing. Even the benches are beautiful, look. These are really sun gargoyles. got that amazing sort of stonework. These are the balconies I so love with. And a few cats look. Oh my goodness. That's a little kitten that one. Oh my. There are a few. And I mean, look, can you see that one? It's taking its head from behind the wall. I think they're hardy like the Norwegian forest cat. I think they are. He's not shivering. No. Is someone looking after you? Their tongues are sticking out. Oh, yeah, they are. They've got proper tongues here. But look at this view, Camilla. I mean, that is amazing. Wow. Very nice. Dashing. Really suits I've, you. I brighten up a room. breakfast and I've got grandma with me. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> and grandma is just seeing the cathedral for the first time. It is beautiful. And we are on a little bit of a mission because we're off to not only look at the sites, we're also going to get a little bit of money out to be able to buy our Norwegian forest cat kitten we are realising there's so much more to this amazing country than we even realised. It's all being renovated by the looks. Yeah, they've done that beautifully with a little balcony. 
Yeah, and another medieval street. I feel very ignorant for never, never having heard of Segovia. If, if, even if I'm probably mispronouncing it. <laughs> I'm sure one of our viewers will be able to tell us. Well, when I moved into um, Cornwall, I think I was mispronouncing the names of loads of the towns there. Well, yeah, Cornish sure. names are pretty tricky. Wow, this is on, the, on this house here. But usually you see it the other way around. So this is reverse, isn't it? Yeah. Which is quite rare. So this is the road we've come down. Art oh, Custodians, look at look at this. Yes. And I'm very intrigued as to what we're going to see at the end of the street. Oh, my word. That's insanely beautiful. Alcazar of Segovia. Oh. Medieval castle. One of the most famous in Spain. Oh, my goodness. Oh, what? That's <laughs> quite yeah, emotional. We've seen it, isn't it? It's just incredible. Onto the roof there. You can look around for miles. Yeah, let's go down and have a look at the, uh, on the steps. Look, there's a monastery over there. It's absolutely beautiful. I don't know if anyone's ever played the game Carcassonne, but it feels like that game. We've got churches, we've got farmyards. You may not have noticed the model. But if you look at the, the cliffs, oh yeah, the colour is a, the same as the castle. It's beautifully coordinated. Honey, honey coloured. Honey, yes. And you've got the little place here. Oh my word. Oh, it's so deep. That's actually really scary. Yes, and anyone who was misbehaved, they would just toss them over, wouldn't they? I'm not so good with the heights anymore. But even so, when they're down there, they can still look at that yeah. beautiful wall decoration. <laughs> well, that was a treat. That was a treat. So, Jenny, yeah? I think we'll have to come back to this town, I think, but this is going to be hard to beat Very anywhere. hard to beat. This town is so beautifully kept. Um, you know, there's not graffiti, there's not litter, there's not dog muck. It's People just... up early in the morning, yeah. cleaning the place. Yeah. It's just something that Spain can be very proud about, the way they've kept this town. A monument here. Very beautiful war memorial. And this lady here with the book, serenely in the sunlight, Greenway, but there's a little bit of disapproval on her. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe she's disapproving about war. Perhaps she is. There's, a, there's that hot air balloon I saw earlier, over there. Gorgeous. Everywhere surrounding this town are just, is this beautiful kind of valleys, verdant valleys. Very mysterious looking. Gosh, what a place. Oh, there's a hot air balloon coming up now, look. Can you see? Oh, it's a shame to leave, but we need to. Yes. Wow. Oh yes, and the balloon in the sky, look. And the coat of arms there. Mm. There's balloons everywhere. So Jenny was telling me it's one of her ambitions to go on a hot air balloon. Can you imagine all the beauty we've seen from the sky, seeing the way the setting in the valley. It's past that doorway. Yeah. Take a minute to think of that history in there. Oh, beautiful. Behind us even, look at that. I mean, it's just so many historic buildings, it's difficult to know where to look. <laughs> and this one, look at this, look at the outside of it. Look at these balconies. Oh, right, hold on tight, Jenny. I'm holding on tight. Whoa. <laughs> Morning mountain climb, Jenny. Not bad for an 88-year-old, Jenny. I have to be sad, you're doing no, well. I'm not bad, actually. I'm 
pretty good. It's been such a nice trip that we don't really want to end it with a trip, do we? Right. The only problem with hills is that you know what it means, don't you? It means we have to come back up it. <laughs> More historic houses. There was obviously paintings of some ladies. Can you see, or saints or something? On those, which have just slightly worn out. You've just noticed the aqueduct pointing out over there. Here we are. When I was looking up this briefly um, on the way, I just thought it was a UNESCO World Heritage Site because of this aqueduct. But obviously the aqueduct is one of the glories, but it really is just one of them. Look at it though, wow. 100 AD, Jenny. One, that, and it's still standing, that is remarkable. It is. I'm not sure I'd walk on it. <laughs> <laughs> that was quite impressive. We're going under the aqueduct. What a treat. It goes all the way along there, look. Oh, couldn't have asked for a better place. And all the way along there with the sunlight. <laughs> there we are. Whoa. And I think this beautiful hill. Yes is where we're going. Jenny's had some hip issues which have all been sorted. So she was saying that two months ago she wouldn't have been able to go up this hill. It's quite something, isn't it? We've left Segovia and we're on our way after three months of waiting to get our Norwegian forest cat kitten. Are we excited? Yes! yes. yes. 